9.1 is intersections of lines and planes. So in this section, there's a lot covered and I'm going to break it into two parts. The first thing I'm going to do is talk to you about lines and planes. And the second lesson I will do intersections of lines. So there are three possibilities when we talk about intersections of lines and planes. The first one at a single point would be me taking this pencil like this and hammering it through the plane the plane being the piece of paper that I'm going to write on. So it goes through in one place only. The other options are the pen is, or pencil is flat on the plane, meaning there's an infinite number of points of intersection, or the line is parallel to the plane and we get no intersection points at all. So let's break this down into the three. We're gonna start with one point of intersection. So to do, to do check either of these three possibilities, the very first thing we're going to do is take the dot product. Why? Because if the dot product of the direction vector for the line and the normal to the plane give us an answer of zero, it means that the line is either on the plane or parallel to the plane. It means they're in the same direction. Any non-zero value will mean that there is one point of intersection. Okay, so let's take a look at each of these three examples to make this all very clear what you're going to do. So first question, this is one point of intersection. We're going to find the intersection point of the plane, and I give you the equation, with this line. And I'm going to do that first by finding the normal vector of the plane and the direction vector of the line. Now remember the normal direction of the plane is just the coefficients of A, B, and C. So I'm going to write the normal vector is going to be two minus three, minus three and one. And the direction vector is right here, right? Three, six, minus four. So I write those down, three, six minus four, and I'm going to take the dot product of these two. So I'm going to do normal vector dotted with direction vector of line, and I'm going to get six minus 18 minus four. And that obviously is not going to be equal to um, zero. Okay, so once you've taken the dot product, then you're going to make uh, an assumption. So the dot product, dot product is not equal to zero. Therefore, one point of intersection. So now your job is to find this point of intersection given these two lines, or sorry, the line and the plane. Okay, so let's go to the next page. So, whoops. Went too far. Okay, here we go, sorry. State the parametric equations for the line. Okay, so we go back to, there's my equation. Let me put that up here. So I want the parametric equations for the line. So X is going to be equal to, and we have seven plus three T. So X equals seven plus three T. Y is equal to, Y is equal to 14 plus six T. And Z is going to be equal to minus 9 minus 4T. Okay, so now the question is, what value for T will make, um, will get the, the point of intersection? So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to substitute these into the plane equation to solve for T. Very nice, right? I can plug in in um, my parametric equations here, here, and here. I get rid of x, y, and z. Everything's in terms of t and the constant, and bam, we're going to get an answer for t. So I plug them all in. So first I'm going to write out the equation. So I have 2x minus 3y plus z plus 5 is equal to 0. We don't need this here anymore. And I'm going to plug in my parametric equations and maybe get some pencil working here. So I have 7 plus 3t minus 3 times 14 plus 6t plus 
Okay, so it's plus Z, so I'm going to say minus 9 minus 4T and plus 5. And that's going to give me 14 plus 6T minus 14 times 3 is 42 minus 18T minus 9 minus 4T plus 5. I'm going to carry it over here to so give myself more room. And I've got um, minus 22 and 6, that's minus 16T is equal to uh, 14. Well, add them all up. I'm going to tell you the answer is 32, and I get T is equal to negative 2. Okay, well, that was pretty easy. I've got a value for T, and now all I have to do is find the coordinates by substituting this T value, this one right here that we saw for, back into the parametric equations, and I'm going to tell you what X, Y, and Z are. So X is equal to 7 plus 3 times minus 2. That's going to give me 1. Y is going to be equal to 14 plus 6 times minus 2. That's going to be 2. Let's guess. Is the next one 3? Minus 9 minus 4 times minus 2. Nope, it's not. Minus 9 plus 8. That's going to give me negative 1. So now we're all done. We make our statement. Therefore, the point of intersection, and there is only one point of intersection section is, and just state them, 1, 2, minus 1. There you go. Okay, so that's one point of intersection. Now let's go on to look at an infinite number of solutions. The line is on the plane then, right? Sitting right on it. It's touching everywhere. So I give you the equation of the plane, the equation of the line, and I want to know what is the normal vector of the plane first. Same thing every time, okay? So normal is going to be 1, 4, and minus 2. 1, 4, minus 2. And the direction vector for the line is going to be 2, 3, 7. Okay, now I'm going to take the dot product. Now you know that we're doing one for an infinite number of solutions, so that should mean that the dot product is going to be zero, right? They have the same direction. So I do the dot product and dotted with R. It didn't really need a one there. So that's going to give me 2 plus 12 minus 14, and that is zero. Okay, so we get the zero. The zero means, therefore, either parallel parallel to or on the plane. So now I have to find out is it which one is it? Is it parallel or is it on the plane? How are we going to find that? Well again we're going to do the very same thing. So everyone you do the same thing. Parametric equations. What's x equal to? x is equal to minus 3 plus 2t. y is equal to 1 plus 3t. And Z is equal to 2 plus 7T. Substitute to solve for T. So I'm taking the plane, equation of the plane, X plus 4Y minus 2Z plus 3 equals 0. I'm going to plug in um, X, Y, and Z in the appropriate places. So minus 3 plus 2T plus 4 times 1 plus 3T. Be very careful, the next one, negative signs, that's where people always make mistakes, even the best of us. Okay, so now I'm going to remove the brackets. So minus 3 plus 2t plus 4 plus 12t minus 4 minus 14t plus 3 equals 0. And when I add up my t's, I have 14 t's minus 14 t's. So I have 0 t's equals, so I have minus 3 plus 4 is 1. Uh, well, actually, you can look here. So I have minus 3 plus 3 plus 4 minus 4. So I have 0. 0 t is equal to 0. How many solutions do I have for t? Well, how many values, what can I put in for t? Oh, I put 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. I can put in anything for t here because 
zero times any number will always give me zero. So that means there will be an infinite number of solutions. Number of solutions. And the line is on the plane. Okay, so that's important that you understand what zero t equals zero means. Okay, so just remember, whatever I plug in, I can get zero. Okay, so let's go to the no intersection. Line and plane are now parallel. Here we go again. We have a plane. We'll state the normal. Normal equals the normal vector 5 minus 1, 2. 5 minus 1, 2. Direction vector of the line. Direction vector is 1, 5, 0. Right from here. And these ones gave me the normal. Okay, I'm going to do the dot product. Because if it's not 0, then it's not going to be parallel. But it, I mean, we know it's going to be because I wouldn't have given you this example if it didn't work. So we're going to dot these two and I'm going to get 5 times 1 minus 1 times 5 plus 2 times 0. And you can see that's going to be 5 minus 5 is 0 plus 0 is 0. So therefore, parallel or on the plane. So I can't tell you which one it is until I write out the parametric equations and do the substitution to solve for t. So let's do that next. So we're going to say x is equal to, we go back up here, minus 4 plus t. y is going to be equal to 6 plus 5t. And z is going to be equal to minus 1 plus 0t's. Well, we don't need to do that one, it's just minus 1. Now we're going to substitute back into the equation of the plane to solve for our t value. So can you think what it's going to be if we have no intersections? That means we should get t. There's no solution for it, right? So if we have an infinite number of solutions for t, then it's on the line. If we don't have any solutions, and we'll see that in just a second. Let's go ahead and do that. So I have 5 times minus 4 plus t. Um, minus bracket 6 plus 5t. Be careful you don't screw up that part there. Minus 1. So 2 times minus 1 plus 7 equals 0. And expand. Minus 20 plus 5t minus 6 minus 5t. Watch those negatives. Minus, I almost did one myself. Minus 2 plus 7 is equal to 0. Okay, so I have 5t minus 5t, so I'm going to have 0t's equal, now look at the numbers here, I have minus 20, minus 26, minus 28, plus 7 is minus 21, I bring it to the other side, I get plus 21. So 0 times what number gives me 21? And obviously, you're smart enough by now to know that there is no solution, no solution. So that means there are no points of intersection, no points of intersection, of intersection, and finally, so the line is parallel to the plane. And there you go. Okay, so that's part, sorry, that's part one of 9.1. .1. Next lesson will be the intersections of the lines. So there's lots to do in that exercise as well. Hope you found it helpful. Give me a little thumbs up. Send me a note. Tell me where you are. Where do you live? Are you enjoying my videos? Tell your friends. Hope you're all safe.